Hi everyone, welcome back to Cunit Web with Nick and the Nestability channel. Please keep posting and tweeting and we're going to kick it off right here. So, Dave, what inspired you to play hockey? Uh, well, Nicholas, I think it was uh, my older brother played and um, watched him play. He's two years older than I was. Uh, I watched him play and then I had an opportunity to play on the same team. Uh, with my older brother, so when my father put me into to play, it was fun playing with my brother, and then I, I excelled from there and really enjoyed the game. I loved playing the game and kept playing. What was it like playing with your brother? It was pretty special uh, because he's two years older. I, I didn't get. Uh, I had two years when I was about uh, five and six years old to play with him, and then as you start getting older, if it's a one-year age group, you might be able to play with him again. But a two-year age group, we, we never played. Uh, after that, um, and we still haven't played too much other than pick up on the uh, on the outdoor pond. So it was pretty special. I played with my older brother, and my dad was our coach. Ah, and was he a good coach? He was a pretty good coach. Ah, he was a pretty good coach. Uh, it, it's it's at that point uh, when you're five, six, and seven years old, it was more about having fun. And dad yeah. used to have practices, which a lot of teams didn't have, on uh, Centennial Pond out in Etobicoke. Uh, so that way, he just made it fun. There wasn't there wasn't a lot of uh, tactics or drawing on boards. It was just about going out and having fun. But as I grew up, he became a pretty good coach for me. Around the kitchen table, we'd sit with our salt and pepper shakers, and he'd be moving them around in the ketchup bottle, and we'd be dinner talking strategies. As I got older, and the game got a little more uh, involved. Ah, uh, do you have, do you have any? thoughts of being a player and alumni? Uh, it's a lot of fun being alumni. Um, it's a lot easier being an alumni because you don't have to worry about another guy banging with your stick or hitting into the boards. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been in a, I retired in 2001 and ah. I've been a, an NHL alumni since then so I'm going on about 19 years um, and I'm a Leaf alumni. I played with the Leafs three years so there's four different teams I played with in the NHL in Toronto uh, Boston, Colorado, and Dallas. So I'm an alumni of all four of those teams, but I live in the Toronto area. So most of the alumni events that I do are with the Toronto Maple Leaf alumni. Uh, what are like being alumni? It's a lot of fun. Uh, you get to go out to different cities, different towns, uh, a lot of local events that we get to go out and represent uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs and the yep. Toronto Maple Leaf alumni. Uh, it's fun connecting with the fans. When you're a player, you don't connect as much with fans. Um, uh, but when you're alumni, uh, you get out a little more often. You have a little more time to connect with the fans. There's mm -hmm. a little more social aspect involved in being able to talk, not only today's team, but a lot of the p people who I run into remembered watching me play. So I get to answer their questions as to um, you know, their thoughts on the Leafs of way back when, when I played. Uh, and, how, and how many times have you traveled? Wow, um, I've traveled. Uh, I travel quite a bit. We've traveled a lot with the when we played uh, for the alumni. Uh, we traveled to uh, different cities in Ontario. Uh, the alumni, Toronto Maple Leaf alumni, is taking me up to uh, Moose Knee up in Moose Factory in Northern Ontario, ah. uh, and it's also taking me out to uh, St. John's, Newfoundland, uh, yep. to, out to the East Coast. And uh, I've been there. You've been in Newfoundland. I have. Did you enjoy it? I did. Was I it really summer or it. was it the winter? It was kind of both. Oh, kind of both? Because we were there in the middle of, we were there at St. Patty's Day, actually. So it was spring last ah. year. So it was a lot, that, was, that was a lot of fun. That's good. Uh, can you talk a bit about the um, ML, MLSE Foundation? The MLSE Foundation does a, a, a fantastic job of providing uh, resources and funds and events to um, pretty much every, they've got so many different so many different levels of their foundation. Uh, the launch pad is the big one downtown Toronto, which involves um, youth from the area, uh, after school programs. Uh, that's one that I think a lot of the players, I know a lot of the current players are involved with. Um, we see a lot of uh, advertising, advertisements for it and it's a huge uh, and ongoing and growing uh, building and group of events which incorporates youth in the city of Toronto to not only play sports, get involved in sports, but also teach and mentor in the sports. And what is the after-school program? 
the after school program. Uh, it's called Launchpad, and they have players, or they have uh, the players will come down and join in. But the the local students, uh, the high school students, come in, or local residents come in after their school from public school to high school, and get to play basketball, floor hockey, uh, all sorts of other indoor games. And then as you grow up older and in, in older students, they come in and they mentor them and they help coach uh, throughout their leagues at the launch pad. And, and do the students, um, do they get a lot out of it? They do. Uh, the students really enjoy it. Uh, it teaches you all different life skills. It teaches you to work with other, uh, other people uh, of all different ages, uh, boys, girls. Um, uh, it's a... It's a great place to grow and to feel comfortable and not worry about uh, bullying or no. worry about doing uh, homework. It's a ah. place you can go and have fun. Yes, that is, uh, that's the whole point of it. That's part of our culture. Absolutely, and that's the launch pad. Is a, uh, is, I know it's big with MLSE, and it's, uh, it's very big. I think uh, Morgan Riley and Austin Matthews are, are seen there regularly. Wow, thank you for sharing. And... Thank you for being part of that disability channel. Thank you for being part of the Keeping Keep It Real with Nick. And thank you guys for watching. Please keep posting and tweeting, whatever you guys are doing these days. But keep keep posting on any of any networks that, that you have. So keep posting and tweeting whatever networks you guys have. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.